What's going on everyone? Welcome to Nebraska. We are actually packing up camp. We've been here for, I think this is day six, isn't it? Five nights, day six. Well, we had two, we, days, of sc- we had two days of scouting. Yeah, I guess yeah. so. Day five or six, but uh, I ended up tagging out. Derek did not tag out, but we had a fun time. A lot of opportunities, a lot of good bucks, and actually pretty decent weather. Um, but we made kind of actually like a sick camp. And then on top of that, I got a new rig. So I know you guys really liked it when we did like a new rig and f- like fully kind of how we have everything set up for hunting situations and stuff. So we're going to do a quick run through, but I have to take my bow out of my back seat. So we can't see that. All right, guys. So the new rig actually I traded in the uh, Total Archer Challenge truck because for those of you who don't know, don't follow me on Instagram, I actually smoked a deer with it like a month and a half ago. And with parts and everything being so far behind, it literally would not even have it ready for hunting season. So I traded it in, upgraded. This is a 2021 Trail Boss. So basically just, just a newer version of what I had. And actually what worked really well is I can put the same rack system I had on it. So the Leitner rack and the rooftop. And I've been staying in the rooftop the whole time here, which has been sick. But anyways, backseat, pretty much, it's kind of just like a catch all for everything. We have a lot of room for camp space. So actually I've had like, um, this is a Yeti duffel. I've had all of my clothes in there. Um, dirty clothes, always very important when you got long trips, you keep those separated, especially when we're not taking showers. I got boots, uh, bug spray, random stuff, um, tripod holder for the window. Over here we have just the front seat. Actually what I've been doing this trip is running my iPad on for HuntWise. So it's been, um, actually what I did is I rigged up, put a magnet on here. And this works well with, you know, public and quote unquote road hunting. But when you have either lots of public or lots of permission properties, you actually do spend a lot of time on the road just going in between properties. So what I have is this little magnet right here and this little plate. It actually can keep my iPad just right here. So that's actually super, been actually super helpful. So that's a little upgrade with this rig. Other than that, pretty much the same. Nothing interesting going on. I got flashlights, headlamps, blades, all the essentials. And really, is there anything special going on your side? No. There's really? a, I, that's what I'm like. We really don't have it rigged out because we have like truck camp set up. Um, I can show you guys in here though. Um, these are actually super nice. Sometimes, not all the time, but. What I have in here is actually a Coleman camp stove. And then this section right here is my hang and hunt tethered system. So this is for Mitch and I, like this, this literally right here, will get two people in a tree. We got six or one, two, three, four. We got five sticks. We got a camera arm. We have knee pads, two platforms, other knee pads. So that, that was just in case, we are mule deer hunting out here in Nebraska, but that is just in case we wanted to get in a tree because last year we did. So that just kind of like stays right here and we can fill that in actually when we pack. Let's leave this open because we'll fill that in. Um, also what was super awesome is it's just the same bed length as my other one. So I took this deck system, put it in here, just kind of a catch all everything. Got a little chair, uh, extra arrows, uh, dead meats. I am running dead meats for like white tail meal deer type stuff. Shot my deer with that this year. Uh, tarp. We got bath pack. It's, it, like I said, it's kind of just like a catch all this time. I'm not super organized. We got, oh, these game bags I gotta give you back to you. you Don't let me forget. Dry? Yeah, they're already all dry and everything. Let's leave those out. Um, this is actually like the emergency kit side. So I got like row, flat, uh, flat tire repair kit, sockets, electrical cord, saw. Fun stuff like that in case bad stuff happens. Uh, that's about it. And there's really nothing in those cubes over there. Um, and then I'm not gonna pop this open because I did it really neat, but this pops up and is like a, a full size bed in there. And that's where I've been sleeping. Uh, over here, we have the meat cooler. So this was the, my Nebraska buck last year. It's nice and cool. We hung it up overnight and then throw it in the cooler with ice and that'll be good all the way home. It stayed nice and cool even though it's so hot. Uh, we got Derek's uh, little array of uh, clothing. Got Very nice. <laughs> it did go out in the rain. We had ourselves a little cook-off last night. So we actually have, oh, which you'll probably see already. That's already up on the channel. But a little cook-off deal. Um, vinyl harness. 
That'd actually be kind of cool to go over. I got this new loophole bino harness. I strapped my rangefinder on the side. I got wind on that side. Release shoved in there and then clipped around and then an outdoor edge. And this kind of like flips up. I have a backup release in there and then I keep all my tags and regulation stuff in there. So I always have it with me wherever I go. What's that? Marsupial. Oh, it is a, isn't it? A, that's knowledge, right? Like public marsupial knowledge. Makes it it's a marsupial one. It's just the loophole version. Uh, and then this is all the boys rigs. Um, the three Dawson, Derek and Dawson, Derek and Mitch. Wow. I was having a brain fart there for a second. All slept in here and they got cocks and fun stuff. Don't look too closely. You'll probably see some dirty underwear in there. Um, over here we have just an extra cooler. We kept a bunch of water in there. Extra cooler over here. Trash chairs and we actually picked up this tent and what's sick we picked up at walmart is this led light strip and we've been rocking out every night playing cards and and whatnot um derek actually has a pretty sick rig um show them show the people this thing because that's oh yeah awfully interesting yeah um i was pretty stoked to get this thing set up i've had it for a while but just was planning on getting this truck and just finally did so there's a few other things i want to do to it but this fridge is by a company called Dometic. and so basically i've got it wired um to a power bank in there that when i'm driving i can flip on a switch in my truck and charge the the power i guess the power bank off of my main truck battery but then when i shut off my truck that battery will power the fridge for up to two days on a full charge so yeah it's been pretty clutch having just random stuff in here um eggs and food bacon you know breakfast things and um you can kind of you can actually make it a freezer too if you want to you can control the temp so i could crank it down to you know 20 degrees in there and whatever but really we've kept it just dos has been charging fridge. all of his nikon batteries that don't last we're right the, right the, the boot. power bank in there but which um, is actually because we don't have any power out here that's been has been very nice. very necessary pretty slim the diamond back right yeah yeah a right. dime back cover on it which has been awesome actually on the way out here and what will be on the way home since it's a mid-size truck i don't have as much you know interior Storage space and bed space too but with this i can stack a bunch of the waterproof items on top of this so i had my my cooler on top and then actually my bow case and some other things on the roof rack too so it's been been slick couple other things I want to tweak over the next yeah. year but Nebraska tent camp overall was super functional it was um, and then on top of that we have our own little personal range down here we could we've been standing shooting bow all the way down there we can get like 60 yards or so oh check this out too we did find we found a deadhead on day one brought it out here really nice one actually so we, we strapped that to the top because you got to um, but yeah guys that's a wrap um for camp doer camp tour new rig checking out derek's new rig too um so we ended up shooting one buck here in nebraska but you won't see those videos for a little bit because we got some top secret stuff that we can't show the general public yet but uh you guys should be super excited because it's been fun the past couple days a lot of opportunities in good old nebraska nebraska has always been fun and last year it didn't treat us super well with 11 days being out here, but this year it treated us really well. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to check out BeRealMerch.com. Grab a hat, snag one. This one's all sweaty. They don't come with sweat normally, unless someone wears one beforehand. I don't think they do that. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll catch you guys next time.